मिजोरम बदल रहा है मिजोरम ने बदलाव के लिए वोट दिया है और जब से मिजोरम बना है ऐसा पहली बार हो रहा है कि जो सरकार बन रही है उसमें ना एम है और ना ही कांग्रेस जेड की सरकार बन रही है यानी मिजो नेशनल फ्रंट और कांग्रेस सत्ता से बाहर होते हैं और जोरम पीपल्स मूवमेंट उसकी सरकार बन रही है लेकिन इसके साथ ही एक और बहुत अहम डेवलपमेंट है जिस पे चर्चा बहुत कम है पहली बार मिजोरम के इतिहास में मिजोरम की विधानसभा में तीन महिला विधायक बैठने जा रही हैं। दो हैं जेड की और एक एम की यह एक नया इतिहास और नया अध्याय मिजोरम की राजनीति में और उसके समाज में खुलेगा तकरीबन 20 साल का अंतर है किसी महिला विधायक का वहां पहुंचना और ऐसी उम्मीद जताई जा रही है कि इस बार महिला मंत्री भी बनाए जाने चाहिए आइए टटोलते हैं मिजोरम और मिजोरम में इस मांग के पीछे के पूरे के पूरे सिलसिले को मिजोरम में हमारे साथ जो जुड़ने जा रही हैं सामाजिक कार्यकर्ता राजनीतिक एक्टिविस्ट जिन्होंने बहुत पैनी निगाह और एक कैंपेन किया मिजोरम की राजनीति में तब्दीली के लिए कि महिलाओं का प्रतिनिधित्व होना चाहिए मिजोरम में 40 सीटें हैं और यहां पर महिलाओं का प्रतिनिधित्व लंबे समय से जीरो था दोस्तों अब हम बात करने जा रहे हैं सीधे मिजोरम में मिजोरम में डॉक्टर रिनी रालते हमारे साथ जुड़ रही हैं जो बहुत लंबे समय से सामाजिक कार्यकर्ता हैं बहुत गहरी पैनी राजनीतिक समझ रखती हैं नजर रखती हैं जब मैं मिजोरम गई थी वहां पर उनसे मुलाकात हुई थी और जिस तरह से उन्होंने बताया था कि मिजोरम की राजनीति बड़ी पैमाने पर बदलने वाली है किस तरह से जेड आगे बढ़ रही है उसको लेकर जो संभावनाएं जताई थी तकरीबन उसी तरह का दृश्य हमारे सामने है और साथ ही साथ इन्होंने एक और अहम बात कही थी महिला प्रतिनिधित्व के बारे में महिला एम के बारे में और इस बार मिजोरम में बड़ा परिवर्तन यह भी है कि महिलाएं उनकी विधानसभा में दिखेंगी हम ये बातचीत अंग्रेजी में करेंगे वेलकम टू न्यूज क्लिक रेने and uh, you were the first person who was telling about very prominently about the women representative uh, representation in uh, vidhan sabha in the state assembly so how you see now there is a map which the news click has uh, uh, made for the uh, viewers it shows that how the scene has changed this is the new uh, mizo map of political map so zpm is leading uh, it is uh, 27 20 is the halfway mark 27 is with the zpm mnf uh, 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 is uh, down to 10 losing 16 bjp is 2 gaining 1 and uh, congress is down and it's just one so your first immediate reaction on this political map of mizoram how you see this change it's a joy actually the whole of Mizo people are watching TV or news updates. Yeah, every second, every minute, because we don't know that who is going to come into power. You remember one day before the election, we had an interview. In that interview, we particularly concentrating on women reservation, whether how far it has been successful in Mizoram. So I say. I say to you that uh, the three prominent parties are having two candidates, two women candidates each. So we are also promoting that all we requested all the all the people, Mizor people, if you have any women candidate from the major party, please vote for them because they will be a better candidate in their own constituency. So they will make a good contribution. and we can see the picture very clearly that zpm has two candidates and both of them won especially the first one aizol saw three beril beril the candidate was the first one announced i think yes. the second one was yes pirin pui yeah in the southern yeah. part who became the pres- vice president of that area the president of the southern part of zpm So yeah ZPM are in majority so they are the ruling yeah. they cross so, 
one direct question to you. So now you have women uh, MLAs in the uh, state assembly. So it's a great achievement for the women movement in Mizoram. Very much so. And both of them are really capable. We are hoping that both of them will be uplifted to a minister ranking because their representation is that very important. That will be important. also a new history in Mizo uh, politics? Uh, yes, very much so. It, it, it is not the first time, but earlier also we had a minister. But the gap was so long, almost 20 years gap is there. Gap so now there, yes. two women are. Both of them are very prominent and very capable persons. So I'm sure that they will be not a mere MLA, but also a minister ranking. Yes. So just one point, how you see, what was the uh, basic reason for this change, the ZPM? What is the basic reason of its victory? It's a new party, just five years back it was formed. So how they ma uh, got this magic number? I think that uh, their slogan is, we may call it change, but it is a systematic change. I would say more than that, yeah. It's a systematic change where they are trying to address the corruption. They are trying to be the corruption-free government. So they are not afraid of anyone, including the central government who may not be in their party, Mm. But still, as long as they manage the finances well, with integrity, with financial integrity, with finance, uh, with power, integrity with power, they are hoping to get a better Mizoram anyway. Yeah, and now so I, I think they, yeah, now they're transparency. You, yeah, now I will come to you about this change. The BJP got the two seats. It is not the last year, last term seat. They are the new seats. And what changes happened here? Because across Mizoram, BJP was a bad name. ZPM, MNF, both were not ready to join hands with the BJP. So how they got these two seats? And their vote percentage is also uh, around 5% they got the votes. Yeah, we also have to identify who are the who are who are located in that particular yellow and green area of orange 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 yeah. area particularly yeah. yeah that is more or less the mm. minority community maybe who are not uh, i mean ethnically they are minority community and that is always the starting point the entry point for the bjp in not only in mizoram but also in other states so they always come to the minority, yeah. The and board. one direct comment, why Congress is down to one? Last time they were five. And yeah. their vote percentage also has gone down. You know, I find this one very interesting because it has nothing to do with Central Congress. Yeah, no, nothing to do with Central but Congress. Rahul Gandhi but Rahul Gandhi failed Mizoram? Not only, that, because Rahul Gandhi's campaign was against ZPM, that was a wrong campaign. Uh, yeah, his approach was wrong. And also that Sonia Gandhi was also making a video, video remarks, rem video appeal. And that was on the same line. So they are attacking the ZPM. That is not necessary. That's not a campaign strategy at that time. So they, they have no experience, I would say. They, <laughs> have, been, should have, bring they have been. The, the Mizo politics have been moving with MNF or Congress for long. They yes. have been a ruling party in Mizoram. So why they were not able to understand the pulse? Yeah, that's very true. Because the pulse is the PM who are aspiring for a change. Because they cannot find a change. They cannot find corruption-free Look at the development, the roads we are having now is unthinkable. It's not even a road. So that is where we are right now. Everybody is looking for a change. That is a better, a better road, better infrastructure that we don't get it in the, uh, in the two prominent parties. So they should read the pulse of the people. And if he, <laughs> Rahul Gandhi, if he 
criticize any political party, he should have criticized MNF. In fact, he targeted ZPM. That was a wrong approach. So he was not successful. His coming was not helping the Congress, Congress party at all. The MNF, because MNF also tried its best, uh, especially in the uh, time when the Manipur was burning. The CM took a stand, Jordan Thanga uh, took a stand, and he, uh, apart from uh, all the BJP pressure, he said that, okay, I will invite them. I, they have given the place also. Before also, the uh, migrants from Myanmar, the Chin uh, migrants where I visited also, they were also given the space. So what went wrong so drastically with MNF? Well, you know, identifying and helping internally displaced people and refugees from Myanmar, that Zoram Tanga is not a champion to that. Whoever is coming will have the same stand. Even the new chief minister, I mean, the, the identified new chief minister also will be the same. Who their Congress are coming, they will be the same. Because of the ethnic affinity, nobody can say anything against against our ethnic uh, unity unity yes so whether they, yeah, change, yeah whether he is zoram tanga or somebody else there that is the same stand if they so go now the La lal duoma is the new cm you feel yes he will be he will be the new chief minister and he we are also hoping uh, to get many things progress because he himself is very intellectual a former IPS officer who was also security guard of Indra Gandhi. Gandhi. Yeah. yeah, so many intelligence. He is a capable person. And so that uh, not only that, his his MLS, the other MLS are all educated, well, well versed in terms of development and analysis of the society. So we are having a good, a great hope. So now we are going yeah. to see a different kind of a Mizoram who is not going to be dependent economically and politically on center that is BJP as a Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whether it is possible for Mizoram to sustain like this? Yes, we are there. That is their promise. That is their promise by the Duomas party. Hopefully it will be better. It will be better. But okay. I don't know how far, but we are hoping to, to get okay. much better, yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot and look to see that a better relationship and prosperous uh, Mizoram. Thanks a lot yeah, for joining thank us. You.